Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently in Paris at Broadband World Forum. And as you may be able to note from my surrounds, I'm no longer on the show floor. I'm behind the scenes in one of ADVA Optical Networking's demonstration rooms. These are the rooms where ADVA showcases some of its latest technology and hottest solutions. Solutions that perhaps it doesn't want the rest of the public yet to see. However, there's one solution that I think you'd be interested to take a closer look at. And it's one that Carsten Geis is going to talk to me a little bit more about in detail now. Carsten, thanks for joining me. The demonstration that you've arranged and that you're hosting here is based on Ethernet backhaul. Could you tell me a little bit more about what you're doing here? Oh, that's right. Uh, so this is our Ethernet backhaul demonstration where we are highlighting the importance of two key things. First is performance monitoring, second is timing. Okay, with Ethernet backhaul and perhaps you know, mobile backhaul, People are always thinking about data, tablets, smartphones, huge amounts of data, especially given Amazon's recent announcement yesterday with their new tablet. What do these two issues that you highlighted, how do they, how does it impact upon the, the ecosystem as it were? Well, uh, the transport of um, all those uh, mobile broadband services is a key element, that's right, in the back hole. We are doing it. But besides the transport, you really need to take care about the KPIs, which are delay, jitter, and frame loss, as well as the quality of your synchronization. Okay, so these are critical elements to the network infrastructure. What would happen without them? Actually, we have an um, exchange of traffic between the cell sites directly, and some traffic is backhauled to the center site. And imagine if uh, there are a lot of people on a train coming from one cell to the other cell, and all of these people are streaming a video uh, to their smartphones. What does it mean? There must be a handover of all the bandwidth from one cell to the other cell. And um, if you do not have the latency which is required for the handover, your bandwidth is going down. What we are doing, we are ensuring that the latency and delay, as well as the synchronization between the cell sites, is optimized. Okay, these sound like critical elements. Carsten, thanks for the update today. I know you have a busy day of demonstrations ahead of you, so I'll let you get back to it. Thank you very much. Thanks. If you'd like to know more about this solution, please visit www.advertoptical.com.